Now I built the shelving unit over my uh, computer desk and I lined it with these baskets to put cords and cables and things that I need. Um, I've used these baskets for years and I keep repurposing them but they're just really too thin. If you see the inside they're, they're really only a few inches deep and I thought maybe making some wooden crates would be nice and uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the shop and get everything ready to build. It looks like I can easily fit, you know, maybe six of them there with a little space in between. But let's go downstairs and let's make some, uh, some wooden crates today and we'll even bling them with a little scroll saw work. So at the lumber yard there I got some uh, one by nine. Uh, I got actually six foot length and then I also got some uh, two by six and I'm thinking the two by six I'm going to cut them into slats and I should be able to get plenty with the two that I got. So I'm going to cut these down to 12 inches wide and I'm going to use my micro jig gripper. Uh, you cannot beat the gripper. Uh, it's safety and you gotta load it. Alright so I got my end pieces and I've got my 13 rails, the bottom and the side rails. And now I just need to go ahead and do all of these and once I do that I'll get the assembly line started and start uh, fastening them together. Okay so I've got a bunch of slats cut and what I'm doing is I've set up a stop block so I can do repeated cuts. Put these up to them and this will be the length of the box. Yeah, I'm cutting, stack cutting. Alright, there they are, all lined up. I'm about ready to do the assembly. Now I started this project at about 7 this morning and it is around 10 o'clock. So it hasn't really been working on it for too long. I'm thinking about possibly staining this or painting this before I assemble to make things a whole lot easier. So uh, on to the next step. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and drill out the holes for the handles. So I think the best way to do this is I think I want to stain everything before I assemble it. I think it'll just make things easier. So I'm just going to get all of my slats ready to go and I think I'm going to start an assembly line. Alright, so I mixed up a few stains and actually I think I'm going to just pour this, hopefully there's no holes in it, right into this container here. And then I just think I'm going to go ahead and dunk them and wipe them off. I think it'll be the best way to, to really get these things properly soaked. And there we go. They're all drying from the stain. I figured I'll let them dry overnight. I cut all the slats and more and more slats and even more over here and more over here so eventually when these dry which will go overnight I think and uh, then I'll start assembly tomorrow okay now I'm ready to start some assembly I'm going to build it upside down and I'm going to start with the slats on the bottom and then I'll run them along the side are all made. I've got the crates all built, six of them. Uh, I was ready to uh, attach these. See, I pre-drilled for the handles, but this leaves this blank space up here, which is fine if you like the look of the wood, that's fine. But I think I'm going to scroll saw out some designs here. So after coming up with some kind of random designs here, I decided to go ahead and cut out some 5 by 6 um, 
boards here. All right, so I was able to scroll saw out some of these little plaques I'm going to put on them. This is completely artistic. There's no functionality behind these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply clear lacquer them, mount them to the board. I may mount some black paper behind it to stand it out, but let's go ahead and spray these down and get them mounted and we'll be done with the project. Using a little spray lacquer. So how I'm mounting these is, what I'm doing is, is, I've got the front, I'm spraying the back with just a little bit of uh, spray adhesive. Not much, just a little bit. Because all I need to do is have this mounted to the back of it. Just hit it with a little. And then I can go back and fill these in with a little filler. And now I can just simply attach the handles. And there we go, all six of them built. I've got the handles attached, I've got the artwork attached. These are going to go up on the top, top shelf of my office. That is the reason why the handles are low, so they're easy to get at. Alright, let's go ahead and put them upstairs, see what they look like. Mm -hmm.